Hi, Lara. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, Lara. How long? <laughs> How long? <laughs> um, I'm going to split us in four rooms. And if something happens, hello. <laughs> if something happens, please uh, press the button ask for help. And I don't know, just come back here and tell me that something's wrong. Oh, I didn't send the questions. Today I'm really crazy, guys. Sorry. That's it. Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I didn't send the right questions. Oh gosh. Hi everyone in the break, in the main room. I just skip skip the first question that I sent to the others. Hello. Hello, talk to me, please. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 Guys, I don't know if all of you, let me see. No, you're all here with me. Okay, I'm gonna send you guys to other rooms randomly. Wait a minute. Let me do it. If if it shows a um, um, message in your screen saying go to the other room, just accept it, please. Oh gosh, today I'm really famous. I don't know how to deal with a lot of people. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay, let's do it. It's good. Yeah, it, yeah, it means that it, something is good is happening, right? <laughs> so I guess that's us. Yeah, everyone did. Hi guys, hello. Hello. You did you split? Did you split us? Yeah, you you're here. You're with me in the main room. Okay. Okay. So Camila, Luana, Giovanna, hello. <laughs> hello. So let's start presenting ourselves. I forgot. They're going to be like, oh, what's happening? Because there's no question one that I sent to them. But it's just choose a leader and present themselves. So, okay. <laughs> Let it happen. So, okay, let's do it. Uh, let's start presenting ourselves. Uh, I'm Duda. I'm 22 years old. I live in Rio de Janeiro, and I'm a, a student in architecture uh, in college. And that's it. I'm here as a host. I, I'm really glad that I can be here again. And Camila, tell us about you. Okay. Hello, guys. My name is Camila. I have 23 years old and I live in Belo Horizonte. I was muted. That's awesome. Is it your first time here on TNT or not? No. Okay. But I guess it's your first time with me, right? Or not? No. <laughs> no. Oh, no, God. It's the first time. <laughs> Oh, sorry, but it's okay. Uh, uh, Giovanna, and you? Hello, I'm Giovanna, and I'm 18 years old. I, eu, eu vou falar em português rapidinho, porque assim, só para situar, eu sou uma pessoa que tô no intermediário, só que eu preciso praticar muito meu speak, porque eu fico muito perdida na hora de falar. Try it As English. palavras... <laughs> Here, I, look, here superior. everyone here is, is learning. It's that's the special thing about TNT. Like we have people that speaks a lot and people that are, are learning, and we're all here to to help each other. So just try, okay? Don't okay. don't matter if you make mistakes. Just we're here to help each other. So just try. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go on. Try to present yourself in English. Um, I'm Giovanna. I'm 18 years old. And I'm a student um, on social media in um, University, no, Sao Paulo, Belas Artes University. 
and yeah. um, and that's it. Okay, you did great. See, <laughs> just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Luana and you, welcome again, guys. I really, I don't know what happens. I always split like Ram, and I'm always with Luana and Patrice. I guess, I guess, I don't know. Zoom wants us to be together. <laughs> Go on, Luana. Hello, my name is Luana. I'm 16 years old. I live in Macaé, in the state of Rio. Um, the second year of my high school. Uh, I do a technical high school of environment, and I'm here to practice English with you guys. Luana, awesome. I, I have a son that he lives in Macaé, working in Petrobras, and I, I would like to know Macaé, go there. And Everyone comes here just for work and study. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I mean, we have like one shopping mall and the beaches, just that for free time <laughs> and work. Yeah. We just come here to work. But it's good, you have beaches, so. <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> the good is that you are, you are almost in Buzos or Cabo Frio or Arreal do Cabo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have yeah. Cabo Frio. So guys, I'm Alexandre. I'm from, I'm from I'm from Victoria. I live in Victoria uh, since 1986, and I live near near the beach, uh, three minutes away. I was just there now, and I realized that I need to come back to home to because I had the meeting to the markets. It's why you are so important. Okay, because people are leaving the beach to come home and talk with you. Yeah, I am so happy. Alexandre. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice, and you. Hey, Duda. Hey, everybody. I'm Patricia. I'm 35 years old. I live in Guarulhos, São Paulo. I'm married. I have two daughters, Eloise and Livia. Uh, today, I'm a little sad, you know, because the news uh, about Brazil and the pandemic, our government, governments, you know, I feel not good because this. <laughs> uh, I don't know how uh, going to our future, you know, and this uh, me, a little scary me because I have daughters, you know, and it's difficult. So Yeah, I guess everyone, I'm scared too. It's a different situation, but yeah, we have to go through it, right? Just like, let's do our parts and be at home. I guess all of us are at home, so yes. yeah, that's it. So there's one guy coming in, let, let him in, and then he stays here. Hello, Lucas, are you there? Yes, hello. Hi, go on, present yourself, <laughs> and then we can start the questions. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lucas. I'm sorry, I'm late today. I'm okay. 25. I studied, I studied in data science and I'm from Tabata, São Paulo. That's awesome. So guys, the first question, that is number two. I don't know why I did this number thing. <laughs> uh, this, okay, that, let's do it. The second question is, if you can live, it's the name of the conversation. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Who wants to start? Luana. <laughs> I choose Luana. I think I would uh, spend like some years if I could in the United States to practice more my English. And I don't know, maybe uh, Spain or a uh, Hispanic country because I'm trying to learn Spanish. And just four years, but I think I would come back to Brazil because I, I like, uh, I kind of like where I live. And despite the problems, I think we have like a, a beautiful country and we have, like, I have my family here. So I wouldn't like spend uh, a lot of time outside. Yeah, that's great. Camila and you. Maybe Canadian, but I like so much living here. 
Ok. <laughs> And Patricia. So, uh, maybe I will live in Canada or Australia. I think that this, these countries because uh, it's a beautiful country and I love English because of this. <laughs> yeah. Guys, you can say another city in Brazil. It's just like anywhere in the world. You can be like, oh, I would. I would move to my to the other neighborhood. It's okay, just <laughs> it's everything. So Alexandre and you. You're muted. Muted move. <laughs> so I would like to live in, inside the plane, go to everywhere. Sometimes it's more to São Paulo, sometimes it's Praia do Francês, Maceió, or uh a couple of days or more in New York or London or Vancouver or Copacabana. I don't know. It's the, <laughs> a lot of very beautiful places to live. But Vitória is very beautiful. Vitória is safe, a little safe. The, the island is safe. The background, Vitória background is a little danger, but the island is safe. People who is good to to handle. I love Victoria uh, as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. that's awesome. Alexandre must be rich because he wants once one house in each city. You know, I want to. Yeah, if I, if I was there, rich, should I say? <laughs> uh, it would be great. I would uh, win, yeah. win in the in the mega center. Yeah. I will live in, in the planet. <laughs> to everywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Take me with you, please. <laughs> Giovanna and you. So I um I think that I will prefer to live in Paris or California because that is um this is beautiful uh places. That, that are, I, I tô me confundindo todo. This, that are beautiful oh, places. And I, I like the, the weather too. So that's it. I would enjoy to live there. That's awesome. <laughs> And Lucas. I think Lucas. I would live in Europe, maybe in Paris or London, because there are many places, nice places to visit there. And I think living near the places is it will be nice. But I like Brazil too, but maybe Paris. Yeah. Lucas, I think you're frozen a little bit, but I could understand you. Guys, I'm gonna ask you for one little minute that my dog opened my door. One, one. <laughs> I'm back. My dog, my dog is. <laughs> he wants to be part of TNT now. <laughs> okay. The next question is: Why would you be satisfied? Why would you be satisfied living in this place? Some of you guys already said a little bit, but try try to say more thing like, why would you be happy there? Um, Lucas, you that that already that just answered. Sorry, what's the past two? Is why would you be satisfied living in this place that you choose? I don't know. I think it's a new place. It's better because there are many things to visit and to meet. And I think it's like a new routine in my life. I think it would be nice if to meet new people, new places, new cultures. I think that's it. Yeah, I agree. And Luana, and you? I think it's more like about the languages that I would like to practice more 
and I think the character too, because when you start living in a, in a different place, like you really start knowing their culture. So I think it's more about that. Yeah. Alexandre. I think uh, know a new uh, a new place, a uh, see why the place are so beautiful, and uh, new other people, uh, meet people in the near good restaurant, and the beach, a lot of beach around the Brazil, or in the in the cold place in. In Vancouver or New York, I think it would be great. Yeah, I agree. And Patricia? So, uh, thinking about Canada, I think it's a developed country, you know, with good schools, good good environment with, uh, for living with my family, you know. I and my daughters uh, have a good uh, development as well, you know. Or school, health, mental, and these things. And good, I, I think, uh, uh, with good government, you know, and uh, I think it uh, would be uh, less stressful for me. <laughs> yeah. Not, not like we're in Brazil right now, right? Yes. Uh, let me see, Giovanna, and you. Um, sorry, can you repeat the question? Because I yeah. have a little difficult. It's okay. You said you would like to live in California, right? Yes. And, and after I ask, uh, why would you be satisfied living in this place? Why would you what, be? What's that satisfied? It's satisfied. Important. Ah, um, okay. Um, Satisfied to live in this place? Yeah. I think that um, um, nowadays, um, cotidiano, I don't know how to say in English. I think that the population um, contact with that people who live there, um, they work and I, I think this. Yeah, that's awesome. Here, Giovanna, you're doing really great. Yes, let's go on. Eu sou muito travada. Obrigada. It's okay. All of us, all of us, when we started TNT, we were like, oh, oh God, they're going to judge me. No, no one is here judging, okay? Yes. Okay, let's, I think everyone answered. Let's go to the next one. That is... Uh, would you move to another country if you have the opportunity? Like, mm. you got a promotion. Would you take everything and just go to another country? That's the question. Alexandre, you. So, if Canada wasn't so cold in the winter, I I would like to move uh, to, to Toronto or other city in Canada because Canada is very developed and it's very safe. And people there, I, I lived there for 35 years, 35 days in Toronto and people there is so, so good to, to yeah. meet. And, but uh, in, the mid, uh, in the middle of the year, the, the, this, this country is so, so frozen. Like today, uh, yesterday I, I was looking for the Toronto uh, weather forecast. It was five degrees. It was very, very frozen for me. I like I like when like 30 degrees, 35, 40 degrees, go to the beach. It's... 40 degrees? You should go to Rio. Toronto, Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, that's good. Patrícia, and you? Of course. Please, give, give me this opportunity. <laughs> of course. Totally. Yeah. And Camila? USA, uh, but specifically Chicago, I think. But why? 
Go on. Uh, is uh, because it's famous in different cow a uh, city, and uh, I knew one friend uh, living there. So I think. It, yeah, that's awesome, Giovanna, and you. The city. If you if you had an opportunity to go to another country. Imagine uh, if job you got a promotion and you must go to another country. Would you would you take this opportunity? And yes, yes. Uh, never dies. Uh, I think that I um, I you think about this because my family I so trust me. Uh, close. My, You're close to them. Yes, I am close to my family, so I will think more about. But I, I think yes. Depend the promotion. <laughs> Depends on the promotion. You, yes. So, if I get a lot of money, I go anywhere. <laughs> yes. Your brother, your brother, please don't depend of only of the promotion. Go there because you are so young. <laughs> And so yes, I yes. went to Canada with six five, six five years old. I was going to Canada, <laughs> and I think you are twenty less than twenty. And then you are so young, and you, you are in the moment to go to everywhere, and the, and the enjoy other place. Okay. Like, <laughs> yes. So beautiful. Yes. Los Angeles is a good place for you, okay? I recommend because you say California, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, <laughs> located in California, okay? Yeah. Giovanna, if you need a, a letter, just ask for Alexandre to write. Giovanna must go to California, that's it. <laughs> okay, Luana, and you? I think I would go, of course because it would be a great opportunity to, to practice English or Spanish or whatever, and to learn uh, and to start knowing uh, new cultures, new people. So it would be nice, of course, I would. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. And Lucas? Yeah, I think I'd go. I think it's one life experience, one lifetime experience. And I think it would be nice for me, for my life in person or in my career. So, yes, I would go. Yeah, that's awesome. So, the next one is... Uh, what would be the hardest aspect for you to get used to in another culture? Did you guys understand this one? Patricia. Oh... I don't know what the hardest. Maybe the, the culture, I think, you know, adapted me and my family there. Uh, and know how the, the system uh, works there, you know, and uh, health, school, and other things. I, I think in the, the beginning, these uh, would be hardest. Yeah. And Lucas. And <laughs> I think the language, I think it's a little difficult in the beginning because you adapt to the, <laughs> the people. I think the food and the culture in general, for example, some behaviors that, that culture has, you need to adapt to it. I think it, in the beginning is a little different for you. And I think it could be a, a little difficult in the beginning for me. Yeah, I agree with you. Maybe for me, in the beginning would be something different, especially the food, like depending on the culture, right? There are some cultures that are really similar to ours, but depending on the culture, I think the food for me would be really difficult, but I think we get used to it. Or just just find some hamburgers over there and, and pizzas and just solve your problem. Luana, and you? I think maybe the food, like you guys said, uh, 
I think the weather too, like you mentioned, imagine going to, to Canada, it's so cold and here it's so, so hot. So I wouldn't get used to it easily. So I think the weather, the food, uh, maybe the people too, because uh, some people can be racist or something like that. So we never know what we can expect abroad. So we need to like think about everything before going because we never know. <laughs> it could be totally different. Like imagine going to Japan or something like that. Totally different. So yeah. Yeah. Um, let, uh, Giovanna and you. I would try uh, to adapt me uh, a culture. I would know a lot of different people. I um, would try uh, uh, different food and this. Yeah, that's awesome. And Camila? Uh, food, uh, making friends and uh, know new people. So, uh, but in Chicago have a uh, culture uh, I like culture there, so have a uh, jazz, visual art, literature, fine. So I like this, so I think it's easy, easy for me. Yeah. And Alexandre? So I think uh, the hardest aspect, I think the first is weather. Because even in Brazil, when they, we have the low temperature, I feel very cold. Imagine it in Canada or in New York. <laughs> and the food, because the food in Brazil is a variety of food, vegetables. And like in Canada, I had a lot of problems to, to eat lunch at school. Even in the, in the street, shopping, only pizza, 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 pizza. Sauce pizza all the time. And I think food in a weather is the hardest aspect of the living in another culture. Yeah. Uh, Luana, did you answer? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so let's go to the next one. That is, when talking about moving, what gives you reason to go and not to go? Like, as we said, said before, like, do you like straight, straight to go and what holds you back? Like, oh, you know? <laughs> Anna. Duda, uh, can you repeat? Because é uh, travou yeah. um pouquinho para mim. Okay. So, like, when talking about moving, what... I, oh, gosh. Let me... Let me... What gives you reason to go and not to go? Like, if you had this opportunity in another place, anywhere, what, what holds you back and what gives you, like... Uh, like strafe to go, you know? You Place? Understand? You say? Yeah, like when, if, if, have, if you had an opportunity, why, what yes. would you back? Like, oh, as you said, oh, I'm really close to my family. That would be a reason for you not to go. But maybe you say, oh, I really want to know another culture. So that would be a reason to go. Like, tell me about you. Ai, eu acho que eu, eu compreendi um pouco, assim, bem pouco. É, seria, no caso, por que eu não iria para algum lugar? Yeah. Tá. Why would you go and why would you... Para algum lugar e o que te faz medo de ir, por exemplo? O que te motiva a ir para Los Angeles, por exemplo? Ah, sim. Oh, é... que, e, e, qual, e, e o que, que te, você tem medo? Qual o medo que você tem de enfrentar essa situação? Yeah. Like that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, uh, what me I me motiva? I think um, to know the other place, the other people, and since I 
I was child, I, I have this dream uh, to know other countries and so, and to, um, to take my family to for the other countries. And my, my afraid, Seria? Yeah. I, I think um, the, they don't uh, adapt me this this local because I think um, I I have afraid that I I am don't like the the, the place and um, perder a viagem. Agora eu não sei como falar isso em inglês, mas yeah. Yeah. I got <laughs> go to you. back sad, entendeu? Yeah, it's good. You're doing really fine. Can me lend you? Uh, for me, go. I consider it have a bad condition and have much money and no new places. And uh, for me, not to, to go. Uh, maybe uh, this place have violence and um, war. And um, just see it. Yeah. And Alexandre. So what uh, what inspired me to go is to display the the another area around the Brazil or or uh, abroad, like I did in New York alone. But uh, sometimes it, it makes me fearful about the the danger situation and uh, sometimes uh, danger people and uh, uh, be lost like I I was three times in Toronto lost in this in the kind of, in the downtown and don't know how to get uh, the subway how to get home and it's it's my fears but uh, the fears can't uh, uh, win the situation, okay? You have fears, but you go and do a lot of mistakes, and in the end, you will see that everything you did was great. Yeah, that's good. I was very fear about the when I went to abroad alone. Uh, uh, if, uh, I think I, I took a place at plane in Victoria to Guarulhos, Guarulhos, Toronto, and pass for the uh, police frontier and have a conversation with the policeman. Oh, you were so feared about that. <laughs> <laughs> but everything was good. Just face, face your fear. Face your fear. Yeah, overcome your fears. You have to overcome your fears. Yeah. And Lucas, and you? Mm, I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. Sorry. And Patricia. So I always uh, wanted uh, to move, you know, for other country, but just uh, travel. But now uh, my, my reasons uh, would be because the, the, here in Brazil, so mess here, you know, stressful for me. And uh, I, I, here, I, I, sometimes I'm not, uh, I, I don't have good times here, you know. I was uh, uh, stolen many times here, you know, since when I was, I, I was in my first college. And this, since now, uh, with my daughters in the car, two, two guys come here uh, to my family, you know, and so stressful, you know, all things for me, so stressful. I know um, Brazil is a good country. There is many rich here. Maybe if uh, uh, I, I, I was like uh, Alexandre, living in a beach, you know, three minutes in the beach and... Uh, uh, rest, you know, I think uh, maybe uh, my mind uh, 
can't change. <laughs> but now here in Sao Paulo, it's so stressful, you know. My daughters, uh, the last week, uh, yes, I think the last week, go to the school, you know, a presence, presential, I don't know. And they got a sick, you know, and oh, Jesus now got a sick. And what, one year uh, with not, you know, a disease has come to school and now diseases, you know. Yeah. And uh, oh, terrible, you know. I, now I decided they don't, they won't go to the school That's anymore. Yes. yes, just online class because it's like yeah. big mess. Now, now the masses, like, like now that people are relaxing, the masses is yes. worse than, than ever. And Luana? I think I would move a course and to learn new, uh, to start knowing new places and to learn the language. Oh, yeah, I've already said. <laughs> And uh, I think I wouldn't go if I had to leave my family here because I wouldn't go without my family. And I think maybe I would uh, be a little, not uh, a lot, but a little afraid of like not having money or I don't know, not having good opportunities there because we never know. So yeah, those problems and maybe adaptation in general uh, of the new culture. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. So the next question is, have you ever moved to a different city or a neighborhood? How was the experience? Me, for example, guys, this is my room since I was one year old. So one year old, right? So I never had this, this, this experience. So tell me about you guys. Camila. Uh, I moved to a uh, make board uh, and for me uh, uh, where it was easy uh, I live alone uh, I have one dog so I have one year I moved to so for me it's okay easy not have problem or about it. Yeah, that's great. And Lucas? I live in the same place since I was born, so I don't know, but I do like to have this experience, but no, I don't have, sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't have it. I just want to know about the others. <laughs> Luana, and you? I move it not see, but just neighborhood. And I think it didn't change a lot because the same city, but like uh, here in my neighborhood, I live like more like near the beach. The beach is like two streets from here, so it's really near. So that's the the best part. But I think uh, just that <laughs> nothing changed. Like really, <laughs> you just have to walk less to get to the beach. That's good. That's a good change. <laughs> And Alexandre. So I have, I have an extensive movement. Uh, I was born in the outside in, Ale in Alegre. And then I moved to the city, Alegre. And when I lived there for eight years. And I, I was a little down in Alegre. And I, I was looking for another, a good job. And then I moved to Victoria and I work in the agriculture secretary, Banestes, Banco do Estado do Espírito Santo. And then I pass in the Banco do Brasil and moved to Colatina. Okay. And for six <laughs> years. And, and I, I, I was engaged with a, a woman in Victoria. And we got, we got married in 1986, and we moved to Victoria, uh, Jardim da Penha. And then, uh, uh, five years ago, I bought this, this apartment near the beach. And then I moved to Jardim Camburi, uh, where I live today. That's awesome. And you, you look happy, so that's what matters. <laughs> yeah. And Giovanna, and you? I never... Uh, 
moved for other other place, other country, in other neighbor. Uh, but my neighborhood is so proud, and I I live with a lot of people in my house. So this is good, anyway. It's very it's okay. nice. <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah, that's good. And Patricia. So I live in this neighborhood since I was four years old. But when I got married, I moved for other neighborhood. And uh, for me, in the beginning is so different, you know, because I worked. And when I was taking my bus for come to back my, my, my home in the another neighborhood, it's different, you know, I was, uh, uh, use it to take up bus and the, the same uh, stop bus, you know, and so many things so different. And I, I feel a little strange. <laughs> and uh, yes, I, I took a time for get to use it, you know. And, yeah. But the, this neighborhood, uh, city and states are the same. Yeah. And how it already changed, right? Yes. Um, Okay, the next one, the next, as we're in the, in the end, we have this little questions that are simple. That is, do you prefer to live in the city or in the countryside? Uh, Lucas, tell me about you. Now I live in the countryside, living concerned, but I'd like to live in a city, in a big city. I think there are more opportunities, more things to do and for the other side, the countryside is calmer than the big city, and there's less, less violence and less bad things. But I'd like to live for a while in a, in a big city, maybe for a three, five years, just to know how this experience. Yeah, that's I agree with you. And I would live, I live in the city and I would live for some years in the countryside so I can relax a little and then return to chaos, you know? And Giovanna, and you? I prefer countryside because the city is so crowded, so noisy, and I don't like a scene. Uh, I like because the opportunities. It's uh, of course, but I I love the nature, so I I would I would make all the for leave or to take quarantine in a countryside. Yeah, I think I would feel safe too. <laughs> and Patricia, so I think the both the the, the positive points and negative points, you know. Now I don't know what what I wanted, you know, what what I want to. Uh, living construct is good because the health and the more safe maybe, but I, I uh, would try and um, prove I don't know uh, privar sorry privar some things you know that I have here in the, the city, like more. Uh, opportunities, uh, uh, products, you know, supermarket and other things. And sometimes uh, the health, you know, in the city, I think uh, we have more support for health that uh, countryside, you know. I'm saying about uh, public health, you know. And I don't know what, maybe when I got water, maybe countryside. Now I think it's here, it's a good. It's, it's good there. Yeah. And Camila? I prefer city because I uh, have more opportunity and uh, more things I do. And, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> Alexandre, and you? So I live it in a cut in a cut side at until 15. And from the 15, I passed to live in a city. I think living in a city is better than the cut side. You, you can meet a lot of people in the city. In a cut side, you can meet a lot of animals. Sometimes it's dangerous animals. 
And I I can't sleep safe in a in a countryside when I go to a farm. Uh, uh, pass a weekend, and sometimes at night I think about oh, there is a snake under my my bed. <laughs> so I, I'm so afraid about the the, the snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't be safe in the count in the countryside. I like to be live in a city. Yeah. And Luana. I think I would choose to live in the countryside because like my city, uh I think we have a lot of nature here and it's more like calm and relaxing. So maybe we have like a better life. <laughs> I think I, I, it's inevitable that somehow uh, it's great to go to the, the city because we have more opportunities, like you said. And I think that I'll choose uh, living the countryside, but I think that in the future, like whenever I need to go to college, for example, I'll have to go to the city because here we don't have a lot of colleges. So maybe I'll move to Rio or Sao Paulo, or I don't know. So. <laughs> I will leave forever here. No, come to Rio, not Sao Paulo. Patricia, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close Patricia's camp. <laughs> come to Rio. Victoria is better than Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. You, Luana? Yeah, maybe Victoria is even closer for you. Victoria is very beautiful and safe. Victoria capital. Okay. People here is very good. Very warm. And you can enjoy the city, beaches, and like he, hey, you you live in a beach, yeah. I'm gonna close all the rooms. Wait a minute. Hi, Márcia. Hello, Márcia. Oh yeah, Mar Márcia was leaving, <laughs> as we can see. So people are returning. Did you guys enjoy the conversation? That was a... Yes. I'm talking with us in the main room. Uh, people are still coming. Okay, yes, I love it. Okay, let's wait for people to come. And then we, we say goodbye. So yeah, I really enjoyed this topic. I, I thought of it today, like, oh, if I talk about this, I have this problem. I, I get the topics like uh, uh, like in the morning before the conversations. Oh, people are leaving, people are coming. Hello, Guilherme, how was the conversation? Hello, everyone. Hello, Patricia. I saw you yesterday. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, like the conversation was really good, actually. I I, I did like it. I was with uh, where, where my my group. Okay, <laughs> Virginia, Matheus, Wellington, and where where is she? The Sabrina? No, not Sabrina. I forgot the other one. I, I Maybe think, like, she, she left. Yeah, I think she left actually. <laughs> and it was really good. Like we talked a lot. We were in a patriotic room because everyone loves brazil everyone wants to live <laughs> in brazil no one wants to live abroad like yeah we we want to have this experience yeah yasmin thanks virginia so but in <laughs> in in term in all terms we were really in a patriotic room just say about the good things about brazil despite of the bad things and it was really good to share with them yeah, we, we kind of talked about it in the main room too. Like we have a, a great country despite the, the bad things. <laughs> and Vito, how was the conversation in your room? Vito Buenos. Hello guys. Conversation in my room so good because uh, the other point we uh, like uh, Guilherme say in my room we we have a person to go abroad and yes, but otherwise I love my country. Uh, I I say I really miss miss uh, the food. For example, I don't carry brigadeiro for for exchange <laughs> in the abroad. I really miss a few because the food is so perfect. But you have uh, other points and about the to, to live in another country in another city. As we you share the 
the different things and stuff seems really great really great yeah that's awesome i'm glad you i'm glad you enjoy it and luis fernando yeah. oh what was the conversation for yeah you? the conversation yeah yeah it was really great i respect the fact that uh, we, we talk uh, uh, we talked about uh, moving to another country but yeah we considered uh of course you know the I mean considered in you know staying in Brazil because it's our home and the idea of moving to another country is only to get to to know the people you know um to have new experiences and learn English of course and then come back. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, guys. I really enjoyed the, the conversation. I hope I really hope everyone did. And I'm gonna ask you guys to answer the feedback that you're gonna receive in your email. So please do this. And next week, I I, I said that today, today's topic I choose today in the morning, but I already have the topic for next week, and it's gonna be like for because of Women's Day. And it will be women's in sports. So that's a that's a thing that I really enjoy and I really want to talk about with you guys, see what you guys think about it. And yeah, that's it. I hope to see you all next week. And and during the week in another in another conversation and happy hour. We have a lot of time to be together. So yeah, that's it. Be safe, be at home. Things are are crazy, so like just take care of yourself and the people you love and yeah that's it i will get i will get in tears <laughs> yes yeah sorry so, sorry uh, guys but i'm going back to the beach because it's very hot inside the, the alexandre be safe be, be away from people <laughs> no my, my beach is is uh i don't say vazia it's uh, empty empty, it's empty, empty. now <laughs> Uh, empty and private. Very empty because uh, people are working here today. Yeah. And the beach is open for me. I can put the chair there. <laughs> the shadow and we yeah. fresh wind. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Alexander. Thank Alexandre. you for going out from Guarapari. Guarapari is very good. But my beach is very beautiful, and we have five kilometers of beach, and a lot of trees, a big, big shadow, and uh, some bars to have beer, uh, sabatinhos, etc. Yeah, Guarapari is good as well. Yeah, but take care of yourself and everyone, okay? Now, now, now yeah. I'm gonna yell here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you for being here, everyone. Hope you have a great day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. See you.